Hey there, CrossFit and Deliverance athletes. Welcome to the B Relentless Vlog. Let's jump into tomorrow's programming. Uh, we're looking at a five by five of back squats. It's gonna be 5% heavier than last week's. Uh, it, it is a little heavier, so as coaches, we're gonna try to give you a little bit more time to go ahead and complete it. It's not gonna be as much of a rush. We're finally starting to get to weight that matters. So this should be fun, right? Getting back into a, a consistent, um, structure of at least getting some of the primary classic lifts in. Uh, directly after that, we're going to be going to a quick uh, kind of a, a burner in terms of a workout. It's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 15, 10, 5 of V-ups and wall balls. The goal is to go ahead and complete all these unbroken. Um, that means once you start a V-up set, wall ball set, there is no resting, there is no pause in the movement pattern and cycling. We just go. Um, the accessory work after that is just going to be two minutes of collecting a GHD hold. Um, that should be in the sit-up position, so you're going to be facing up. Guys, tomorrow is a, a really a straightforward day. This is going to be the only day that we aren't testing for our gymnastics week. The mobility stability tips of the day, mobility-wise, hamstrings are going to be a gigantic dough and get ready for the squats to make sure as you go below parallel, we don't have any posterior pelvic tilt. Those hamstrings pulling the pelvis back, causing the back to round. Um, also, stability-wise, we're talking about mid-mid line, guys. That means the spine erectors, your obliques, your abdominals, everything that's surrounding the spine. We need to go ahead and try to turn that on. So for the um, the fast wall balls, right? If the hamstrings are loose, then the only other thing that prevents really the low back from rounding is just a tight midline and really trying to be tall and thoracic. So we really want to go ahead and focus on that. Uh, guys, remember the rest of this week is going to be a test week. If you need to go ahead and look back on details of what days you need to focus on, really it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. More details, look at yesterday's video. Um, guys, let's spend just a little bit more of our time and talk about this gymnastics cycle, right? It's going to be uh, May and June. Uh, it's heading into summer. And sadly, when it comes to making your gymnastics better, it essentially comes down to power to weight ratio, right? The stronger you get, of course, the more gymnastics body weight movements you can, but also the beautiful thing is, since it's no external force being applied that you have to move, it is your own body weight. So also the lighter you are, the more you will be able to go and PR these gymnastics movements as well, right? Um, so really, I want you guys to be conscious during this phase, as you, we should be 100% of the time, but uh, because we are in a gymnastics phase, right? the lighter we become, as long as we're keeping with a healthy um, amount of uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, right, so on and so forth, if we can become a pound or two lighter, that's gonna exponentially help us to where we can get stronger, but then we don't have to move that extra one or two pounds. So go ahead, be conscious, it's summer. We're all gonna be looking for that classic summer bod anyway, or really just trying to be a more durable human. The less extra weight we have to cover around, the healthier we'll be in the long run. Um, it's also going into summertime, so that means people are spending time on their patios, barbecuing, maybe having an adult beverage of their choice. Guys, I just want you to be focused on this next few months into summer. Just go, go ahead and try to think of smart decisions, right? Go ahead and be okay with giving yourself the freedom of saying no, so you're saying yes to other positive um, items that you're working towards in your life. Guys, and again, always be relentless with everything that you do.